Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 season of the Splicer video. Zer has returned for us this week, so let's see what Zer has for us today. Now, as always, we do this weekly video where we figure out where Zer is and what kind of exotics he have. So, if at any given time you found this video helpful or just just a little bit entertaining, please by all means follow, like, subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially on YouTube. Help these videos get out there in the YouTube algorithm and I'm able to give back more. So thanks for watching everybody. Now let's get started. Happy Friday my guardian. It is Zer Day, June the 25th, 2021. Happy Friday my guardian. Zer is back at the Winding Cove in the EDZ. So we're going to hop on our scooter. We're going to scoot on over there and we're going to see what Zer has for us today. Now, as always, if you're a new light player, Zer changes his location every week. Today, he's going to be at the EDZ. Let's see what he has. As always, we have returned the Xenology quest so you can get after those old exotics. We have the illustrious, the illuminous, the exotic, and Graham, Graham, Graham. <laughs> the weapon of the week is none other than the Cerberus Plus One Auto Rifle. Comes with the intrinsic perk called Four Headed Dog. It shoots erratic bullets from all gun barrels at the same time also comes with some other lovely traits let's go over them we have rifle barrel for increased range and decreased handling speed we have fluted barrel for greatly increased handling speed and slightly increased stability and we also have full bore yeah that's right full bore greatly increases range decreases stability and spread the shot package trait aiming the weapon reduces the spread of its projectiles yeah, it's actually pretty good in PvP and pretty good in PvE as long as you're hitting your shots. Pick it up and add it to your collection. Alright, next up we have the Raiden Flux, an exotic chess piece for the Hunter class. Comes with the intrinsic perk called Synapse Junctions. Quick successive attacks with the Arc Staff increases its damage output and its duration. Actually does exactly what it's supposed to do, but it's kind of underrated. Pick it up and add it to your collection. Next up, Crest of Alpha Luffy. Exotic chess piece for the Titan class. Comes with the intrinsic perk called Survive Well. Generates an additional orb of power from supers and a healing pulse when Barricade is active. Does exactly what it's supposed to do. Just wish it was more than just one orb. If it was a bunch of orbs, this thing would be stupid OP. But it's, it's decent. It looks beautiful though. Pick it up and add this one to your collection as well. All right, last but not least, we have that Nether Six Sin. This is an exotic helmet for the Warlock class. Comes to intrinsic perk called Abyssal Extractors. Void damage kill increases ability energy recharge rate. Yeah, it does exactly that. Very underutilized exotic. It actually is pretty decent in PvE and pretty decent in PvE as well. Pick that up and add it to your collection. There you have it. These are all the exotics that Zer has brought for us this week, June the 25th, 2021. Hope you have a wonderful start to the summer and a beautiful Friday. Happy Friday once again, my guardians. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome, don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Game to upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys, and news, and a whole lot more. So once again, thank you everybody for all your love and all of your support watching these videos. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one, guardians. Later.